In this tutorial, I will explain the different types of statistical functions that SPSS will provide for you and how to select the ones that are most appropriate for your study. In SPSS, we tend to treat each of the items or questions from our questionnaire or our survey as a variable. The first decision we need to make is to decide whether we're examining just one variable at a time, such as gender, or are we examining how pairs of questions interact or how they are related such as both gender and age at the same time. Then we need to decide if the question or questions we are examining are category variables, continuous variables or a combination of both. A category variable is where your participants selected one option from a list of choices or categories. Gender would be a simple category question. Country of origin is another. Continuous variables are typically answered by answering with a number or by selecting from a range of numbers, such as in a scale. So let's start with examining one variable and it's going to be a category type question. We have two statistical tests available to us. Firstly, to count the number of responses in each of the categories, we use the frequency function of SPSS. Secondly, if we want to determine if the responses to each of the categories are significantly different, we use a one-way chi-squared test. If we are examining one variable and it's a continuous variable, then we have two main options available to us. Firstly, to count the number of responses for each discrete value in our data. We use the frequency function to do this. Most often, we wish to describe the overall characteristics of our participants' responses. So we use the descriptive function of SPSS to calculate the mean, the mode, the median and aspects of the distribution like the standard deviation. Often what is more interesting than just looking at one variable is to examine how pairs of questions interact or how pairs of questions may be related. We call this a bivariate test. If both questions are category type questions then we use the cross-tabulation function of SPSS to describe the two variables. To see if this association is statistically significant, we undertake a two-way chi-squared analysis. If one variable is a category type variable and the other a continuous variable, then we use the comparing means function of SPSS to examine the differences between the subgroups. Then we undertake a t-test to determine if the difference between the subgroups is significant. If we have more than two groups to compare, we use the ANOVA function. Finally, if both of our variables are continuous, then we can examine the relationship between them. We undertake a correlation to examine this.